Hi everyone, uh, my name is Malvi McIver and I'm coming, uh, uh, coming to you from Sioux Lookout in uh, Northwest Ontario, Treaty 3, uh, which is midway between Thunder Bay and Winnipeg. And uh, I'm going to really appreciate the invitation today to share a couple of songs with you all. So I'm going to start off with a piece I wrote called Abawa, which uh, translates to uh, slowly melting talking about the chain, uh, change of seasons, but uh, for me, something I really enjoy doing with my music is using electronics to kind of augment the, uh, the texture and capabilities of the viola, which is this. It is my large violin. Thank you. 
Uh, everyone. Uh, thanks for listening. So that first song was called Abawa. Uh, it's an older unreleased, uh, unreleased track that I uh, really enjoy playing and I wanted to get in this short uh, afternoon live stream a couple songs off of my last release, uh, which is called Reckoning, before getting into some newer material. Uh, so this next song I'm going to play is called uh, Bajic. It's the first track off of uh, my album Reckoning, uh, which is available on all uh, the streaming services as well as my Bandcamp. Uh, and uh, uh, Reckoning was originally uh, commissioned for a play, which was written by uh, Tara Bagan of the same name. So uh, I drew a lot of my uh, conceptual material from that, uh, from, from the play, which tells a, uh, a story about how a recent immigrant to Canada uh, comes and starts working for the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and learns for the first time what happened to children uh, in residential schools. So writing that, uh, that music for me was kind of a process of trying to think through a really painful history in my family's, uh, in my family's history with many of my immediate relatives that, uh, that went to these schools, but trying to see that uh, through fresh eyes and think about encountering that emotional impact for the first time. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, so those first two songs that I uh, that I just uh, I often kind of say in, uh, into each other about those Bejik and Nij off of my first uh, first album Rekaniki, and I'm going to continue on with playing uh, another uh, two more songs uh, from the same album, uh, which are called uh, Nanan and Ngaroswe. <laughs> Thank you. 
Miigwech. So that was Nanan and Ngagoswe off of uh, my last album, Reckoning. Uh, I just received uh, news this morning that uh, the next song I will be playing is uh, part of a premiere that uh, was shot for a music video uh, by APTN uh, last summer, and uh, it'll finally be, be aired uh, in early this fall. So. Uh, my set list for over a year now and I've been kind of teasing it along along and it's nice to have a date uh, so I recognize that we are coming close to the end of our half hour concert today but uh, wanted to thank uh, Zolisa for for the invitation and uh, C, uh, CJRU and Ryerson for all of the support. Uh, I used to, to work at CHUO in Ottawa so I have a, a long time fondness for community radio and I was uh, uh, love how much uh, support that independent radio uh, goes into maintaining a music uh, music community across the country. And uh, as we all adapt to these COVID circumstances and uh, learn how to live stream, uh, I appreciate that community uh, community radio is right on board with that as well. So the last song I'm going to play today, uh, I guess I, I jumped the gun a bit talking about the music video before uh, before the title of the song, uh, but it's called uh, Divino e Gijigong. And I spent a, a week working with a local elder, uh, Ralph Johnson, and we were talking about the role that music has in uh, Anishinaabe life. And uh, he ended up uh, sharing this phrase, Divino e Gijigong, e de Gosinin. Uh, which he roughly translated to sound is at the center of all creation. It is at the center of the universe. And then I was asked to put that back into a form in a pop song. And uh, it's like, okay, cool, no pressure. Uh, but what I enjoyed uh, in writing a lot of my music, actually, as an Anishinaabe person that didn't grow up with the language, uh, but grew up with uh, classical violin lessons, uh, a lot of my uh, my adult and creative life has been to find a way that I can uh, reconcile to in like a more equitable manner for uh, for myself as an Anishinaabe person that's playing in really historically colonial spaces within like the classical music community and of course like crossing over into pop and electronic and experimental realms as well. 
Uh, but something that was really important for me was like to try and step away from that Eurocentric vocabulary and instead bring back the Ojibwe language into the music that I play on this instrument. And so when I thought about that, uh, that phrase, the Dino uh, I ended up trying to really integrate that throughout all of my music uh, that went into the song. Uh, thank you again for listening today. Uh, my name is Nadia McIver. I'm an Anishinaabe violist and composer based out of Sioux Lookout, Ontario. Uh, you can find more of my music at nadiamckiver.com, uh, as well as my Bandcamp page and the same name across all social media and streaming platforms. And uh, that last song that I played was called uh, Divino Egijigong, and it'll be the lead single off of my next album coming out sometime later next year. <laughs>